No, the impossible burger will not feminize men, nor will it disrupt women's hormones. Uh, well, some praise the impossible burger made essentially of soy protein for leaving a smaller environmental footprint than a meat burger. Others bash it for being a processed food. And some attack it for containing more estrogens than found in pills given to men transitioning to women. In terms of nutrition, there's not much to choose between the Impossible Burger and a meat burger. The Impossible Burger has a lot more sodium than a meat burger, but that is before salt and spices are added to a meat burger. In any case, the Impossible Burger isn't marketed for the health of the consumer, but for the health of the planet. It is indeed a processed food, constructed of soy protein, sunflower oil, coconut oil, methyl cellulose, dextrose starch, yeast extract, tryptophan, vitamins, and minerals. The sugar content, which makes most processed foods objectionable, is low. The Impossible Burger also contains lechemoglobin, a plant version of hemoglobin that is responsible for the meat flavor. Some people may be put off by soy like hemoglobin being made via genetically engineered yeast, but there's no evidence to prompt any concern about this process. Now, about the estrogen content. Soy contains isoflavones, compounds that have estrogenic properties, meaning that they can fit into estrogen receptors on cells due to the similarity of their molecular structure to that of the body's estrogen. But isoflavones bind much more weakly to these receptors than estrogen and trigger much less estrogenic activity. Actually, prior to menopause, when women produce lots of estrogen, isoflavones actually reduce estrogenic activity by blocking receptors. While after menopause, when there is less circulating estrogen, they stimulate receptors, albeit weakly. An impossible burger contains about two milligrams of isoflavones, whereas the pills used in gender transition have 8 milligrams of estrogen. Keep in mind, though, that the isoflavones have much weaker estrogenic activity than the estrogen used in those pills. Contrary to the nonsensical claims of some bloggers, eating the plant-based soy burgers is not going to turn a man into a woman. Let's also add that soy is a mainstay in Asian diets, and no adverse effects due to high soy consumption have been noted, despite Asians commonly consuming between 25 and 50 milligrams of isoflavones a day, 10 times as much as Americans or Europeans. There is room for soy in the diet, but there is no room for nonsense. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.